In this video, we're gonna teach you how to inspect carbon ceramic rotors, specifically on a Mercedes, but this is gonna to apply to pretty much any ceramic rotor. First and foremost, let's go ahead and talk about the hairline cracks that you see on carbon ceramic rotors. And just to ease your mind, it is normal to see these little cracks on here. It kind of looks like a, an older porcelain vase and, uh, and that's because that heating process caused those lines on the vase. And it's the same thing with the carbon ceramic rotors. These lines you see, they are actually made in the process of making the rotor. So on most carbon ceramic rotors, there's a wear indicator. And typically there's three of them in different parts of the rotor. And if you look right here, this is our wear indicator. And this is a quick little diagram to show you how it's supposed to look when it's worn. And if you look at mine, mine looks pretty good. Essentially, if you start seeing a darker, uh, uh, more deeper kind of, I wanna say gouges, but wear, that means that your rotor is probably worn down. But make sure you look at these and make sure you look at all three of them. The rotor actually has information from the manufacturer that is gonna help you learn a lot about it. So first off, it's made in Germany. And then when we come over here, we're gonna have uh, a number that starts with a six on the left side and that's gonna be your serial number. And then we come over here and the one that starts with an A is gonna be your part number. And then we come over here and that's gonna be the direction. And then as we come around, we have an AMG logo, but then we have a 2515. And that means that the rotor was built in the 25th week of 2015. And then if we look over here, we have a one and a 5835, and that's gonna be really important. We're gonna talk about that here in a bit because I skipped over that number right here, and that's because we have three sets of numbers. If we look over here, we had the one, and then we have the two, and then we have the three. First off, the one, two, three is just the set of the numbers, and I believe the 57 is the maximum, like when it came new. Now I did contact the dealership and uh, my local dealership and I asked them what that first number is. They didn't know, but I'm assuming pretty sure that the 32 on this one and the 34 on that one is gonna be the minimum thickness. So then we come around and we have uh, right here a minimum weight. And that's gonna be so you could check the weight of your rotor when you're checking these rotors and you're taking them out, you're gonna weigh them and you're gonna be testing uh, in different parts with the numbers one, two, three, their thickness because you take measurements not in one place, but in this particular one, three places. 